What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more Series 13 content for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In the last video, we actually showcased Magirna as it is one of the strongest Pokemon in Series 13. And in today's video, we are going to be showcasing Keldeo, not just Keldeo, Keldeo alongside with Steam Engine Colossal. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, Make sure you support me as content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, the support has been crazy. Huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. But like I said, we're rocking out with Keldeo today. And Keldeo isn't one of those Series 13 Pokemon that is just super OP and super strong like Magirna or like Marshadow. It's kind of a Pokemon that's on its own is not that good. But pairing up with Colossal makes it very, very powerful. It's a really good combo. So I cannot wait to showcase it all. But let's get started here in the top left corner with today's team preview with Calyrex over here. Shadow Rider Calyrex with the as one ability alongside with the Focus Ash. Legit, the best item for him is the Focus Ash. You cannot go wrong with it. We got Astro Barrage, Expanding Force for its two heavy hitting stab moves, Grass Knot for coverage, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Second Pokemon is going to be Colossal over here. Steam Engine and Weakness Policy. Great ability, great uh, item for him just to be paired up with this Keldeo. It's got Meteor Beam, Heat Wave both for stab, and then we got Solar Beam and Protect for its final two moves. Middle left is going to be Zacian. I'm not even going to say anything about it because it's the normal Zacian setup that is just so broken in the middle. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Keldeo, the Pokemon we are here to showcase. And this Pokemon is super cool. Definitely one of my favorite mythicals just on its design wise. I just think it looks super cool and it's just awesome. What is it like? It's like a unicorn, right? It's like a unicorn. It has a horn. It's like based off like a sword. It just looks amazing. And its colors are phenomenal as well. It's got Justified as its ability, and then for this one, it is Rockin' Leftovers as its item. It's got Secret Sword, which is its signature stab move. It's got Icy Wind for Speed Control, Aqua Jet for First Turn Priority, and to trigger that Weakness Policy and Steam Engine on that Colossal. And then obviously, its fourth, fourth and final move is going to be Protect. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Intimidate, or not Intimidate, it's going to be Intimidate Landris over here with uh, the White Herb as item. It's Rockin' EQ and Fly for its two stab moves, Rock Slide for Coverage, and Protect for its final move. Final Pokemon is going to be Incineroar. Intimidate, Safety Goggles as item and ability. Then we got Flare Blitz, Snarl, Fake Out, and Party Shot. This team is really good with the meta. You guys are probably sitting here wondering, like, yo, Jeans, why are you using strong meta Pokemon? You usually, like, use off meta Pokemon. Doesn't it get boring for you? Uh, a little bit. It does get kind of boring, but I'm bringing you guys amazing, really strong teams so you guys can push high ranks on Master. So that's what I want to do to get Series 13 rolling. I want to just showcase the new Pokemon with the best teams possible on it. But, guys, if you want to write the team for yourself, the amount of code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Let's get some wins with the Series 13 Keldeo team. Before we hop into our first battle, we got some important news for you guys. Your boy just got a nice haircut. Check it out. It's flowing. It's looking good. I want the showcase. To actually hop into our first battle. So let me throw my hat back on. Let me throw my headphones back on. And let's get rocking here in battle number one. We're going up against a Charizard Groudon. Sun team with Lunala, he has Regilecki, he has Incineroar, he has a lot of different Pokemon he can go into, but I feel like the Keldeo and uh, Colossal combo is probably our best bet. He could lead Incineroar, that could be a little bit of a pain, but I'm going to take the risk and say he's not doing it. So I'm going to lead Keldeo, I'm going to lead Colossal, and we're going to And if he does lead Incineroar, I can just double protect and kind of just get after the battle that way. So I'm digging it, I'm digging it. I'm going to go Colossal, I'm going to go Keldeo, I'm going to bring Zacian in the back end because I really like Zacian up against a lot of these Pokemon. And then Calyrex is probably our best bet, right? Or do I go with Intimidate Lando? Intimidate Lando or Calyrex? Who would be better for us? And Intimidate's really good. We have a lot of moves that can do a lot of different damage on these guys. But Calyrex is Calyrex. And you know how strong that is. So I, with that said, Calyrex is Calyrex. We're rolling out with Calyrex. But yeah, just want to showcase my haircut for you guys. Because I know a lot of you guys are always just like, yo, Gigi, always wearing a hat. Like, it was actually a lot longer than this. It was like about two inches longer than this. I just got a cut yesterday. I was just like, yo, dude, looking good. I'm feeling like handsome Squidward, and we're going to rock out with the haircut and get you guys some wins. But before the battle even starts, you guys got to let me know for question of the day. What mythical Pokemon do you guys think is going to be the worst in Series 13? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to get you guys answers. But he's going to end up leading uh, Groudon and Grimstarl, and I'm kind of cool with this. I mean, Grimstarl could fake out, which is kind of scary. Do I protect this turn? Does Grim do, do we think this Grimstarl has fake out on I'm going to say no. I'm going to say he's a... He's a he does not. I'm going to say he does not. And I'm going to go into Aqua Jet here. I'm going to Dynamax my Colossal. And what do I go after? What do I do? Do I drop a Volcoleth? I could drop a Volcoleth and get off some big damage. Or I can Flare. I could Overgrowth here as well to get some terrain boost. I kind of want to get after Scroudon. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's do it. 
Let's do it. I'm going to say this Grimmsnarl is a no-no with the fake out. I'm going to say, nah, he, he, he doesn't have fake out. I'm taking a risky play here. Taking a little risky play here. But I think it's kind of funny how this Colossal has uh, its Pokeball as a dive ball. Like, it's not, like you, usually, you usually only use that for water Pokemon, which is hilarious. But we got Colossal in the dive ball. We're loving it. Go up to 414 HP, and we got fingers crossed saying no fake out coming out from the Grimmsnarl. Right? Cool. No fake out. Make a right call here. And I wonder if we can KO this Groudon. I'm really curious to see if we can. I am really curious to see if we actually can take him out here. Because Groudon, everyone knows Groudon's a little beefy. It's a beefy Pokemon. This move isn't stab. He's going to trick. Oh, no. You're tricking me? What you give me? Iron Ball. How dare you? We still outspeed. We love it. Screw your Iron Ball. We don't need it. Screw your Iron Ball. Give me this max server. Do we KO? Let's go. Let's go. Big dog coming out the E. Colossal and Caldeo combo working really good. He tricked us. He doesn't get no item in return, which is good. And I'm super glad that Aqua Jet went first. If he would have tricked me and I would have lost my weakness policy, that would have been that would have been detrimental and we probably would have lost the battle. But Keldeo coming in with that fast speed, you gotta love it. But now Keldeo is sitting here. It's very beefy on the defensive side. It's got leftovers, it's got the grass terrain, and it has protect, so we can constantly get a stream of HP at the end of every single turn. I'm really liking where we're sitting. We have Bulk Lith. I gotta drop it. It's ready to roll. And do I ice win everybody? I kind of just want to icy win and slow down everybody. Now that we have that iron ball, I kind of want to do that. And then just drop a Volklith right over into Lunala. Right over into Lunala. And I wonder what Grimstarl is going for at this point. Let's set up screens. Grimstarl can do it a lot. Grimstarl can do it a lot. But I like I like our little uh I like our little uh, Colossal and Keldeo combo. It's really powerful. Everybody knows Steam Engine Colossal is really, really good. Keldeo pairs up with him really nicely to set it up. But the only problem with it is it's so predictable. And if your opponent reads it turn one while you're going into it, you pretty much just dig yourself a hole and lose the battle. But in this case, we're looking pretty good. We predicted him not going into the Incineroar. We predicted him not having a fake out on the Grimmsnarl. Now we're looking nice. We Icy Wind to drop speed on both of them. And now Volklith can come out here. And Volklith, I think, should be able to take him out. Should be able to take out this Lunala, right? Start chip damage all around. This combo is Ivan. It's thriving. We don't pick up the KO, but we are. Are we going to pick up the KO? I wonder. Because the Grass Trainee is going to get some HP back. And he's dropping a Meteor Beam. Oh, no. Not a Meteor Beam. Not a Meteor Beam. Meteor Beam is always scary. So he drops a Meteor Beam. The thing is, he's going to get Grassy Terrain HP, but then he's going to take a Volklift damage on top of that. He goes for the Meteor Beam. And my boy Colossal eats. Love you, Colossal. That's a good turn. Foul Poison come through here. And I think that... Ooh, I was going to say, I think that does a decent amount of damage. But it doesn't. But it doesn't. Volklith comes out first. Beautiful. The Volklith chips them up before the grassy terrain happens. And we get rid of uh, Luna. It's huge plays. That's huge plays. We love it. We love it. That's what's so good about uh, Colossal. It's G-Max move is super, super strong. You get the Volklith damage and you can kind of roll off from there. So his final Pokemon's going to come out here. I'm guessing he's going to Dynamax this Pokemon. And I really wonder who it is. I'm, if I had to guess, it's going to be Charizard, right? Because he set the sun with the ground on. So I think Charizard's going to come out here. I'm not too worried about it. No, it's going to be Incineroar. And I'm surprised he didn't lead Incineroar. I'm surprised he didn't lead Incineroar. So from here, I'm just going to drop a rock into that slot. He can't fake me out. And that's pretty much GG's, right? I'm going to try to pull off a Secret Sword, too. I would love to use a Secret Sword. Such a cool move. Actually, if I'm dropping a rock into that slot, I would have just Secret Sword over the uh, Get off some damage over there. Because we know this rock will take him out. Even though we are only plus one now with the weakness policy. And our opponent cancels the battle. So battle number one goes perfectly. We get to showcase the Keldeo and Colossal combo. And more importantly, we grab ourselves a sweep in battle number one. Second battle coming at you guys. And we are rolling up against a big mythical slash legendary team. He's got three mythicals with Celebi, Melmetal, and Zerora. And he's got three legendaries with Ho-Oh, Groudon, and Kiram White. Okay, um, I think he's going to lead the Zerora. I really do think Zerora is just a solid lead. It has fake out. It's really fast. It can hit hard too. So I think he's going to lead Zerora for fake out. So in this case, I'm just going to go Calyrex. And I might even go Incineroar. I might even go Incineroar here. Or I can go with a Pokemon that I want to Dynamax. Which could... Oh, I could go in with... Oh, Calyrex and Landorus. is looking really good. It's looking really good. We have the Rock move for that... Uh, for the what's it called? For the Ho-Oh. We have the ground move for the Zerora, for the Melt Metal. It, we, it's just looking good. So I'm going to go Calyrex. I'm going to go Landers. Got to bring Zassian in the back end. Zassian does work on the Kirin White. It does work on pretty much everything except for the Groudon and the Ho-Oh. And Zassian's just OP. So I'm going to go there. And final Pokemon, do I go Incineroar to double down with Intimidate? Or do we have some fun and throw Keldeo in the back? I think we got to have...
gotta have some fun throw Keldeo in the back, right? It's in Wars way overused. You guys seen it plenty of times. We're here to showcase Keldeo. Let's rock out with it. Let's get after it. But Keldeo is kind of here. It's not gonna be a Pokemon that we Dynamax. It's kind of just here for a nice little back end support and for uh, pairing up with that Colossal because it's pretty beefy. It, it's really good with one one v ones because it can outbeat Pokemon, especially physical attackers. And then it has leftovers on top to recover some HP. So Keldeo, it's not like an OP Series 13 Pokemon, but it's pretty solid depending on what Pokemon you pair it up with. Let's see who he ends up leading. Is it going to be Zorora? It's going to be Zorora. So I saw coming from 85,655 miles away, and we're going to end up leading a nice little Intimidate Pokemon. Intimidate's going to work wonders on these guys. Probably going to try to fake out my Lando. And I think I just Dynamax and uh, get after him, right? Probably my best bet. And I'm not even going to... Uh, I'm not even going to go after the Zoror with my uh, Max Quake. I'm going to go after the Groudon with him. I just think I get a bit more value out of him. Because if I had to guess Lander, or he's going to try to fake out my Landers, and then Astro Barrage should be able to do a good amount of damage. And I'm curious, we can't hit that Groudon if he Dynamax with Grass now, right? Because it's a weight move. I don't think we can. I could Airstream here. So I'm probably going to do I want to get, get a bit more speed with my Landers just so we can outspeed this other Pokemon in the back end. Kind of go from there. So let's get after it. Let's Dynamax the Landers. Let's get the Calyx rolling. Kind of predicted this uh, Zoror lead. It's kind of a simple lead. So throwing out Calyx is really good because he can't be faked out. And then Dynamax in the other slot, he gets no fake out value. So we're, we are hoping he's going for fake out. We want him to get no value out of the fake out. And we're trying to use that turn in that way. But he might Dynamax the Groudon. Groudon. Now Groudon's scary. Groudon is scary. He might even swap the Zoror. He has a lot of different options he can do. But if he swaps a roar, he doesn't really have any Pokemon to swap into. If he's rocking Celebi, yeah, maybe. Celebi could be a good choice. Or if he's rocking Ho-Oh, that could be a good choice. And I'm kind of hoping he swaps in Ho-Oh, because then I'm just going to drop a rock and shut it down. Because it's four times super effective, and Ho-Oh just gets stumped on by any rock-type Pokemon or rock-type move. So we down Max Orlando. We go up to 338 HP. Let's get after it. Is he going for the fake out? He's Dynamaxing. He's Dynamaxing that Groudon. Alright, so that's a little scary. That's a little scary, especially if he's dropping a rock. I think we can eat up one rock because we did intimidate him, which is really good for us. But then after that, it's looking a little tough. But I don't think we can use Grass now when he's dying that. I think it just fails. I think the move fails, right? But I tried using Heat Crash on Dynamax Pokemon before it fails. So we're going to end up going into Astro Barrage, giving up some good damage. Zorora is going... Oh, he's a coaching Zorora. Okay. That's really cool. I'm digging that. I always love seeing some cool Series 13 combos. So he boosts his defense. He boosts his attack. I really like that. We're going to get some speed here. And he is bulking. This dude's bulking. So I'm hoping he's going after my Calyx. So I can focus Ash up at that point. And then I go into an Astro Barrage and drop a Quake and maybe pick up a KO. He's going into my Calyx. Cool. I'm with that all day. So he goes into Calyx. Calyx is able to soak. Oh, even without the boost. Love it. We love it. We love it. He boosts special defense here. Groudon might be able to soak up both my shots. He's leftovers. Yeah, dude. He's going to be able to probably soak up both my shots here. He's probably going to be able to do it. We're going to do an Astro Barrage again. Get rid of the Aurora. And then on top of this, I think I'm just going to go with the Quake and Grand Special Defense boost. Because again, we already have speed. Speed's not, speed's not a problem here. Getting off as much damage as we can and getting a Special Defense boost would benefit us a little bit more. But I think Groudon's beefy enough to eat up these shots. Let's see what he does here. He's going to swap the Zoror. He's going to save it for later. He's going to go into Ho-Oh here. Now, if I get off one more turn, I can drop a rock right now. That thing's me. Astro Barrage is going to poke. Some nice damage on the Ho-Oh. Really good damage. And Quake's going to fly here. Quake is flying. Quake does not pick up the KO, but let's see what Groudon goes for. Let's see what Groudon goes for, because I feel like we're sitting in a solid position here. I really do. He's going for Groudon. He's going for the Quake. He is going to get rid of... I'm gonna get rid of Calyx, which I don't mind. I don't mind. Because I have Zacian in the back end. And like I was saying, I said Zacian's not good up against the Ho-Oh or the Groudon. But it, now is the time to bring out Zacian. Now's the time to bring out Zacian. Because just because he has that speed. And we need that speed. And we want to waste out these drought turns so Caldeo can come in here and get a full advantage. So by going into Zacian here, I can outspeed the Groudon, finish it off with the Behemoth Blade, and I can drop a rock in the Ho-Oh slot and finish that off. Even if Ho-Oh protects, it's still big damage. But he has no speed whatsoever. So this is how broken Zacian is. He's going up against two Pokemon that have complete typing advantage, and he's going to win. It's just the most broken thing ever. But we're going to Rockfall. We are going to Behemoth Blade, and we're going to thrive out with this battle. 
who, do you, who does he have in the back end? He has Zoroar. He might actually swap in Zoroar. He has up Max Garden, which is totally fine, but ho -Oh is dead. ho -Oh is dead. Sorry to tell you. ho -Oh is dead. Get it on out of my face. I'm not worried about this. And I think what he wants to do is actually go into the fake out Mon, and that's totally fine. I might want to swap into Keldeo soon. I want to swap to asking for Keldeo. But it could be solid. But I think what he does is he, he's saving the ground on for a fake out with his Aurora and the dropping of blades. Right? It makes, it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. It makes a ton of sense. I think that's what he's going to try to do. I could protect Sassy and I could swap him this turn. I'm kind of going to swap here. I oh, know he's going to go into Q. Okay. Well, I just protect the EQ, right? At this point, I just protect the EQ. I mean, he could go for a Blades. I feel like EQ KOs, right? I feel like EQ KOs that guy, right? I'm just going to protect here. I'm going to protect and I'm going to EQ across the board. What do I drop a rock sign? I feel like EQ KOs. I feel like EQ can we have enough value out of EQ. Finish this thing off. I'm surprised he didn't go in this war. I really am surprised. I am kind of scared of this war because of the uh, Because of my Keldeo in the back end. You know, plasma fist can kind of do it, but I feel like Aquajet can do a decent amount of damage. So we already chipped up the Kel uh this war. I wonder what he's going for here. I'm surprised he didn't go in this war. I really am. I really am. I probably should have just Behemoth Blade the Kieran, but I didn't want the Kieran protecting. He does not. I didn't want him protecting me dodging the move, ground on eating up this EQ, and then leading me down. But EQ does not pick up the KO, which is a little sad. But at this point, he's going to Icy win me. That's four times super effective. He's going to bring us back down to normal speed, and I think Kieran might be able to outspeed Lando now. But if ground on is going... Oh my god, that KO'd! An Icy win just KO'd me like that?! Oh my lord. That's wild. That is wild. Okay, so I could just Aqua Jet, and Aqua Jet should be able to finish off Groudon, right? Shouldn't that Aqua Jet be able to finish off that Groudon? I don't know. Aqua Jet does hit light, and he's plus one defense. I'm going to say I can KO. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to Behemoth Blade into the other slot. We're going to roll off from there. Keldeo, let's go. Now is your time to shine. Now is your time to shine. We bring it out here. I'm going to go straight for this Behemoth Blade to finish you off. And Aqua Jet could just take you out, right? I could go for Secret Sword. Such a cool move. But we need that we need that uh, damage. We need that stab damage here. Groudon might even protect this turn. Which would be his smart play, but then I can just double protect the fake out. Kinda go from there, right? Does sound good. Does sound really lovely. It sounds lovely. Let's see what he does here. Come on, Keldeo. Get this Aqua Jet rolling. Its attack isn't that high. He's not here to do big damage. He's here for a great back-end Pokemon, and this is exactly why we brought him for situations like this, where Aqua Jet can come in here and clean this battle up. He's going to end up protecting Groudon, getting that extra uh, leftovers, and Tassian's going to be able to take out the... Uh, what's it called? He's going to Icy Wind. Ooh. You got speed us like that? That's a fa That's a choice. That's got to be choice, and that kind of... sucks, actually. That might have won him the game, this Icy Wind. This thing's got to be choice, right? Because there's no way he outspeeds my Zassy. But not a bad play from him. We're going to go into Blade here. He's going to roll back into Zora. He has Fake Out ready to roll. We have to double protect, right? We have to double protect. We have to double protect. Or do we just go straight into an Aqua Jet and hope that it KOs? I don't know if Aqua Jet can KO that thing. He's plus one on defense, and he's super bulky. Plus one on defense. I have to double protect. I feel like can a minus one Zassy and outspeed the ground on. It's kind of close. I know the is probably gonna be fast on the field, so I'm gonna double protect. And I'm just going to go. I'm gonna go into a uh, obviously double protect this turn. And the next turn, I'm. I think I'm just going to. Uh, I think I might just Aqua Jet into Zavora. and then go after the ground on. I don't know if the Aqua Jet can kill that ground. Like I said, it's a light damaging move. He's plus one on defense. He's very bulky. He's going to get more leftovers HP here. And Zoroar is going to take buff with damage here. So we're going to go into both of these. We're going to do it this way. We're going to go for the fake out. Double protect working beautifully. And I think Blades is fine. Right, all right. Yeah, and he might even protect Groudon. He might even protect Groudon on this one. He might even protect Groudon on this one. 
If we double block, Buffets are flying around, chipping up some damage on Zavora. Dance room chipping up some damage on Keldeo, and then Brown's getting loose up. Alan is just, he's thriving in this battle. He's back to yellow. He's back to yellow. He's, he's not playing games right now. He's not playing games. He's not playing games. Okay, so from here, I gotta go for the blade here. I gotta go for the blade, and I gotta go for Sakuja. Gotta get after it. Gotta do him dirty. Let's go, Keldeo. Get some damage off here. Take out this roar. Aqua Jet comes through here. Let's see, yeah, dude. Aqua Jet's not doing a lot of damage. It's not doing a lot of damage. It's not here to do a lot of damage. He slows us down. That hurts the soul. And if he can miss a blade, we can win this game. But I think he outspeeds me at this point, right? Yep, blades come through here, and that's gonna be GG's. Hurts the soul, man. Hurts the soul, but solid battle from our opponent, Zorora and Groudon doing us dirty. And he gets a crit on my Keldeo, but I think he was taking this out regardless. But guys, one on one for today's video. Let's hop through a third and grab ourselves that winning record. Final battle coming at you guys, and we have been going up against some really cool Series 13. We're going up against a Victini team to finish off today's video. He also has the Wimscott, he has the Rillaboom, and then he's rocking out with Calyrex, Yvelta, and Incineroar. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I'm kind of leaning towards the Colossal combo again. I am leaning towards it, but I am kind of scared because he does have Grassy Guide. Grass guy can do me dirty. He does have fake out. He has a lot of different options. But I'm still going to roll out with it. I feel like we can get some value out of it. We can get really strong with it. Definitely got to bring Sassian. And then last but not least, do we bring the Calyrex? Calyrex could be good with the Focus Ash, but my only worry is he has, like, Yvelta. Yvelta is definitely a problem. But I'm going to go into it. Bring Calyrex. Like, you can't go wrong with Calyrex. He's such a good Pokemon. He's really so strong all around. And he doesn't have too many physical attackers where we definitely need, like, an Intimidate Mon. So I'm with it. But we're one and one for today's video. First battle we swept. Second battle came down to the wire, but Keldeo just could not do enough damage. Keldeo is really not there to do a ridiculous amount of damage. I probably should have went into a secret sword. But at that point, he would have just beaten us, right? If I didn't go for the Aqua Jet, I wouldn't even gotten off the turn. Laid me down, I would die. So we had to go for it with Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet doesn't do too much damage. Secret Sword is where he gets a little bit of value out of his damage. But like I said, he's really just here to pair up with this Colossal and get some value that way. Our opponent's taking his good old time to pick its team. And I think he's going to end up leading the Wimscott, right? Wimscott with a fake out mod? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I mean, if he goes into a fake out mod, I might just protect Keldeo. Or maybe just double protect there and kind of roll off from there. Because I don't want him faking out and kind of messing up my combo. He's out turn to kind of roll off from there. Let's see what he does. You know, Wimscott and. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Incineroar. Okay, so Incineroar kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Uh, what do we do? I can't just stay in here. I might just drop a Heat Wave. Just drop a Heat Wave and get after us. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. I might just drop a Heat Wave. He does intimidate us, but after we this policy proc, get some nice value out of this. What's one has got really gonna do? Set up a Tailwind? I think I just Heat Wave, right? Did I pop this? I don't want to. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for Secret Sword. Gotta fake out my Keldeo. There's no way he fakes out my Colossal. He's probably like, he's Dynamax Colossal. Not gonna fake him out. I'm just gonna fake out this Keldeo. And in that case, we just get off Heat Wave and we don't protect the Colossal. And we get a little bit of value out of him. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad whatsoever. Alright, let's see what he does. Make a move, my He fakes out my Colossal. Are you kidding me? That's fine. I don't mind it. That, 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 that's fine. At least we're going for a secret, secret Sword here. That's fine, I guess. Secret Sword poking out here. Look at that damage. My boy doing some big time damage. We love it. Popping the berry. Um, that's cool. We got to show off Keldeo's big time damage. And his move looks sick. All right, so from here, uh, I guess that's fine. I guess we'll Dynamax from here. I could go into a Flare, but I feel like Vocalith we can get a lot of value out of. So I'm going to Vocalith and I'm just going to... That is my play. See you, Colossal. Let's get after it. You're going plus six. You should be able to outspeed most at this point. Kind of just roll strong. So let's do it. So I'm still Dynamaxing. I'm surprised. I'm super surprised he actually faked out the Colossal. I could have Dynamaxed and just ran this battle last turn. I could have just done that, but still, I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. That's totally fine. So we end up Dynamaxing. Doing a Maxing. And Aqua Jet coming in here, making us plus six, which is gorgeous. Aqua Jet doesn't really do too much damage, but did you see how much that Sacred Sword does? It can rip up some big damage. It's not Sacred Sword, it's Secret Sword. Secret Sword. I always get him confused a little bit when I'm using Keldeo. 
We Dynamax, we pack the policy. He's going to end up going for a Moonblast. That's really fine. Keldeo should be able to soak. Yes, sir. And then Koss is going to go and get rid of the... Uh, Koss is going to get rid of the... Incineroar. So Incineroar's gone. We have bulk with damage chipping up. I could protect Keldeo next turn and get rid of the Wimscot. This Wimscot is a fast little Pokemon. But it really depends who he brings in his back. Because this, this next... This battle is going to be kind of close. This battle is going to definitely... We have to get rid of one. It's a problem. It's a problem. But I'm trying to remember what other Pokemon he has on the team. He has a Victini. I think he has Yveltal, right? I'm hoping he doesn't have Zassian. He doesn't have Zassian, right? I don't think he has Zassian. If he has Zassian, we're going to find out right now. We're going to find out right now. Because Zassian will come out here and just double my Colossal. Let's see what he goes into. I can't even remember what Pokemon he has. He has a Rillaboom. It was Rillaboom. Who else was it? I don't even know. There's a Rillaboom. Okay, I don't mind Rillaboom. He can Grass Guide me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of him. I'm gonna get rid of the Rillaboom more so than the Wimscott. I'll, I'll deal with the Wimscott another time. I'm getting rid of this Rillaboom with a Flare. I am flaring straight into this dude's mitt. And I am just going to protect this lovely Caldeo. He might even Dynamax Rillaboom. I should check what Pokemon he has because, again, I totally forget. But I think he might actually Dynamax this Rillaboom. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't because I can just rip into it. And we're just using Keldeo as bait right now. Because he has Moonblast, which is super effective onto it. He has Grass Sky, which is super effective on it. He can fake out my Keldeo, too. So I feel like all the pressure is on Keldeo. And we kind of just protect it and eat up some shots. He's going to Helping Hand. I think you're going after Colossal at this point, right? I think you're going after Colossal with this Helping Hand, right? At this point, you got to. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he's going after Colossal at this point. Colossal is going to be able to soak. I'm really surprised he actually did that. I should really surprise you with that. We're going to flare. We're going to pick up the KO easily onto that thing. And again, I'm super surprised he ended up doing that. And the reason I said that is because he knows that Wimscott outspeeds everybody. He could have just dropped my Keldeo and let's Grass Sky on top of that. But maybe he read the Protect. I think he did read the Protect. I think he was just like, yo, Gene's going to, into a Protect here. Let me helping hand and boost his Grass Sky. I guess that's kind of smart. I guess he got the most value out of that. But I'm surprised he brought out Roboom on top of all these Pokemon. I really am surprised. But look at this HP that we're getting now. Thank you, Gracie Train. Get the Gracie Train HP, and then we get leftovers on top of it. We're recovering over 20 HP every single time. So I'm thinking. He's going to throw out his final Pokemon. This is going to have to be his Dynamax Pokemon, and it's going to be Yveltal here. And I'm kind of curious. If Klaasu can eat up a shot, we can win this battle pretty easy. And we have Zassi in the back end. I'm going to Volklith right into you, and then I could just Secret Sword across the board into Wimscott, but best bet would probably be AC Wind? Right? Yeah, AC Wind's super effective on the both. We'll drop speed a little bit. And we'll kind of go from there. But I think Wimscott just takes out my boy, right? My, my, my little Keldeo. My Series 13 Pokemon. I think he just gets rid of him. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. Is Magikarp even in here? Here's Magikarp. Gotta bring, gotta bring him into the camera frame. He's the star of the show. He's the star of the show. Speaking of star of the show, Magikarp is the star of the show over all my streams. We're streaming three plus days every single week. Link is down in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Name it right below me. Right down here, guys. Go down there. Hit the link in the description below or type that name in the Twitch search bar. Hit that follow button, turn on notifications. And pop into the chat. Say hi. Say what's up. I always love streaming in chat. But this guy's really thinking about his turn. He's got a Dynamax Belt here. It's an obvious play. But my question is, does Colossal outspeed? Yeah, I don't think it does, but this thing isn't tailing. The Belt isn't tailing. But can we eat up a shot? If we can eat up a shot and drop a Volklith plus one, we really good for this. We can get a lot of value out of that. And we can really roll out this battle. But Kelly on Cost Combo really strong. Super strong. So he's gonna end up going for Moon Blast. Can you eat this up? I think you're gonna be kinda close. You do not. You get dumped on. They say bye bye to you. It's all good. Rest in peace, Keldeo. I love you. Thank you for popping out in this video. And we do have speed! My boy Colossal coming in hot with a Volklith plus one. Getting off some mean damage. I'm kind of thriving out from here. Darkness going to fly through it. Can you eat that up? That'd be beautiful if you can eat this up. You can. Oh my god, I love you. I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. My man. Chipping up some more damage with Volklith. I could Heat Wave with him next turn, which I'm thinking of doing. I know he outspeed a lot. This one ends rather soon, right? Tailwind doesn't end now. So he's probably forced to go into a Tailwind. I could go into you, but I feel like Zassian's just going to be my play. He's forced to go into a Tailwind because if he doesn't go into a Tailwind, 
he dies and he loses, right? He has to go into Tailwind and, and take a shot on me. But there goes all my Dad Max turns, right? I think my Dad Max is over. And I can just Heat Wave with uh, Colossal and double down into Yvelto. So he's going to have to Tailwind with uh, Whimscott, right? So if he doesn't Tailwind with Whimscott, we just outspeed and we kill him. But if he Tailwinds, then my Colossal goes next. He's going to take out Whimscott with Heat Wave, chip up some damage on Yvelto. And then I think we're just fine here. We're, we're doing perfectly fine. We got this match in the bag. It's in the bag. And then we have Calyrex in the back end with Focus Ash. This match is a wrap. Wrap it up, put it in a bag, and just bag it again. Like five bags on top of it. That's how many bags we have this match in. It's going to be GG's. It's going to be GG's. We're going to wrap ourselves a winning record. And we're going to go two and one with Keldeo, which is awesome. Absolutely love Keldeo. Like I said, one of my favorite mythical Pokemons based on the sign. I just think it looks so sick. Its colors are amazing. And it really makes it pop. Plus, in Gen 5, like, I just loved obtaining that Pokemon. Just a nostalgia factor with Keldeo. Really, really cool. This guy's, like, calculating every single option that he has. That's what I feel like people do when they're taking really long to do their turns. They're, like, calculating every single option. Like, this match is over. You're not winning this unless I miss 15 attacks. Over. It's the only way this dude wins it. The Tailwind's going to come out here. Like I said, he kind of has to do that. But Heat Wave is going to outspeed him. We're gonna get rid of the Whimscott, no problem. Bring Yvelto down, and then it's up to him who he wants to take out. Oh, we get the burn too, which is gorgeous. But it's up to him who he wants to take out. Like, if he takes out Zassian here, which I don't even think he has enough mustard in the tank to take me out. Who do you just go after? Colossal? Yeah, he takes out Colossal, and he, my Colossal eats! Oh my lord, Colossal. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. So my Colossal eats. But yeah, I didn't even think he had enough damage to take out my Zassian. And now Zassian comes through with that play rough. And there it is, guys. 2-1 winning record for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A winning record with this Keldeo Series 13 team. I absolutely love this Pokemon. Like I said, one of my favorite mythical Pokemons ever, actually, because like his design is so cool. Not for competitive reasons, but more so for design reasons. But Keldeo really pairs up with this Colossal and can get a lot of work done. So Keldeo, on its own, really not that good. But pairing it up with the right Pokemon, like we did in today's video, makes it solid. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.